Okay, kids, here is how you are going to take a trip to the San Diego Zoo from your own house. Um, in the video link below, I have included a link to this website, which is San Diego Zoo Kids. On this website, there's tons of cool stuff that you can do, so I'm just going to go through a little bit of it. First thing that you can do is come up here and click Animals. And from there, you can search for a certain type of animal. Uh, if you are still working on your science project, this is a great place to come to search for your animal. Um, you can do by alphabet. You can search by the type, area you find it in, what its endangered status is. Um, and then you can just click on the animal and get some information about it, see some videos, and anything that you would be interested in. Oh, looks like there's even some jokes. Uh, up at the top, you can also just click videos. And from the videos, not only can you watch videos that have, uh, there's arts and craft projects, um, and you can click load more, and that just keeps going on of all the different videos that are out there about animals, but the cool thing is that they actually have all of these animals on live video cam. So you can actually click and see what they are doing right now on camera. So I just clicked on penguins because they are my favorite animal. And we're going to wait for the penguin cam to pop up. And it is loading, but even as it's loading, you can see they've got some penguins over there cuddling together. And maybe this penguin's about to go for a swim. Okay, so it doesn't look... Oh, there we go. Looks like there's even a shark or something down there. Um, in addition to that, you can come up here and click stories. You can uh, read and learn about different animals. Uh, you can click activities and then it actually gives you arts and crafts stuff that you can do from home. So that might be nice if you're an arts and crafts person and maybe want to pick one project a day to do over this break. Then there are games. Of course, everyone likes games. So here's some of the different games that you can play. And finally, there's this Save the Animals link. And here it can tell you what things you can do, even from home or in your community, to save animals. So once again, the link to that San Diego Zoo Kids website is in the description. And you can take some time. What I would like you to do is... Spend some time on here and figure out something that you did not know before. And then I'd like you to share that with us either through a comment on here um, on YouTube or a comment in our Google Classroom sharing something that you learned. And then I will see you at nine o'clock for our math lesson.